The concerns for local Zika transmission is increasing as summer gets into full swing. Hidalgo County Health officials sending out a new warning as they take on a new approach to prevent any local transmissions. Channel 5's Anang Yano is live in our studio to explain. Ana. Hidalgo County health officials are switching gears in their fight against Zika. It comes after nearly a year of mosquitoes testing negative for the virus. Hidalgo County sending out a warning this summer. Be wary of where you travel. It comes as health officials raise their eyebrows after nearly a year of mosquito testing. None of those mosquitoes are turning up positive for the Zika virus. We've been very fortunate. We've had no localized cases of Zika. We've done over 5,600 analysis. Eddie Olivares, Hidalgo County Health and Human Services Chief Executive Officer, says out of the thousands of people tested, only a few have turned up positive. So right now, the majority, all our cases, in fact, there's been a couple of travelers we've picked up, people who've traveled into areas that have a lot of Zika. Olivares says it has health officials taking a new approach to keeping localized cases from swarming the valley. So the concern for us is that it's not necessarily the mosquito, it's more the human. That human transferring Zika to our local mosquitoes, and then our local mosquitoes will lay eggs and their offspring will have Zika, and that's how the whole thing starts. Olivares believes localized cases will spark from travel related cases, saying the valley is a revolving door of travelers. Just with the fluidity, fluidness of our border and the, a lot of crossing back and forth, it's, it's just a matter of time for us to get the local case. Local health officials are in contact with their counterparts across the border. Olivares says several hundred cases exist between Matamoros and Nuevo Laredo. And with summer in full swing, summer vacations are getting underway. The concern for local transmission is increasing. A lot of people for vacation, they're going to places where there is Zika. So I would advise anyone who's going on vacation, get on cdc.gov, look up Zika sites, and that way you could plan your vacation accordingly. At a local travel agency, Sofia del Toro says they're keeping their clients in the know about their desired travel destinations. We always tell them to wear long pants. Uh, long sleeve shirts and insect repellents and avoid the brushy areas. Some customers deciding to switch destinations or cancel their vacation plans altogether. Olivares says local transmission in the valley is imminent. The state health department has put the entire valley on a health alert. Pregnant women in the area are advised to get tested for Zika. The rest of the public should consider testing if you're showing at least two symptoms. Live in the Channel 5 News Studio, Ana Anguiano, Channel 5 News at 6. The symptoms of Zika are rash, red eyes, joint pain, and fever. Zika is transmitted to people primarily through the bite of an infected mosquito, though it can be spread by sexual contact. The State Health Department has a website dedicated to tracking Zika in Texas.